worship you, I live to worship you. I live, I live to worship you. Chotaka niwe, niwe watu Na chotaka niwe, niwe watu Haja ya moyo wangu, ni Yesu tu Haja ya moyo wangu, ni Yesu tu Chotaka ni wewe, ni wewe tu Na chotaka ni wewe, ni wewe tu Haja ya moyo wangu, ni Yesu tu Haja ya moyo wangu, ni Yesu tu Hata kwa jaribio ni wewe tu Hata kwa jaribio ni wewe tu Haja ya moyo wangu ni Yesu tu Haja ya moyo wangu ni Yesu tu Dear Lord and Father, Lord, we say you're holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. You're the one who was, you're the one who is, uh, who is, and you're the one who is to come. And thank you, Jesus, for your love and your grace and your mercies. Thank you because you have allowed us, Lord, to be here. Thank you for allowing us to see the fifth day of the week, Lord. Glory and honor be to your name. As we incline our hearts, my Father, to your word, to pray from it lord thank you as god you instruct our minds in regard my father to the way we should pray this morning through your word in jesus name amen uh i do trust that we are well thank you very much for joining us uh today and uh, as we continue to journey through the book of ephesians and looking on the spiritual blessings that you and i we we have by the fact that we are believers by the fact that we are born again by the fact that we are the children of God now talking of the children of God open with me in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 12 we look at uh, three verses there uh, just to remind us just to remind us to remind us of who we are Ephesians Ephesians 1 verse 12 to uh, 14 uh, New Living Translations put it this way, God's purpose was that we Jews who were the first to trust in Christ will bring praise and glory to God. And now you Gentiles, you and I, you Gentiles have also had the truth, the good news that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit, whom he promised long ago. The Spirit is God's guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he promised and that he has purchased us to be his own people. He did this so that we could praise and glorify him. Now we are going to praise and to glorify our God. Now, you and I, we are the children of God. And so... Uh, our, our, our reality now as believers uh, is, is actually what Paul, I would say Paul is describing uh, here. Now we know that we are Gentiles. We also do know and actually we have heard the truth and we have received the truth. And as a result of that, we have been saved by, by God. And, um, and this happened when we believed in Christ Jesus. And when we believed in him, the Bible says that he identified us as his own. Now God has an identifying marker. He has an identifying marker uh, that we belong to him. And what is the identifying marker? The Holy Spirit. That's beautiful, the Holy Spirit. So um, we have the Holy Spirit who indwells in, in us. Um, and that way we are identified as his own, you know, as, as God's children. Now, the Holy Spirit also is a guarantee. 
Now, you and I, we have the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is a guarantee that we will, uh, that God will actually give us the inheritance he promised and that he purchased to us to uh, be his own people. Now, that, that, that's beautiful. And when I look at this, it cannot be as plain as this and so clear that uh, because I'm looking forward to inherit the kingdom of God, because I'm looking forward to inherit the eternal life. And of course, somebody will really simply ask, how will I know? And it's the same, of course, we normally see with the banks. They, you need to have a guarantor that, of course, they guarantee you a loan. So the Holy Spirit who indwells in us is a guarantee, is a guarantee. Every child of God who truly is a child of God has a guarantee that they will inherit, that they will inherit um, what God has promised. And how do we do know that? It's because we have the Holy Spirit in us. And on that basis, on that line, on that thought line, on that uh, information is where we uh, want to anchor our prayer this morning. And we're going to give thanks to God because we have the Holy Spirit in us. And the Holy Spirit, as I've told us, he, of course, as the Bible has told us, is a guarantee that we shall inherit uh, God's uh, promises. And that's what I want us to go before God and tell God, thank you. Thank you. God, thank you because you have made me to be your child. Thank you, God, because you have saved me. Thank you, God, because I will inherit and I look forward to inherit the kingdom of God. And I am guaranteed of that because I have the Holy Spirit in me and he indwells in me and he works in me and he works through me and you know all those kind of things you know the privileges and the uh, that we get to enjoy as the children of God that's why we are looking and we are look at talking about uh, the blessings the blessings that come uh, with all this so let's give thanks to God Father and God we bow down Lord, with thanksgiving so much, so much, so much when we look at scriptures. And God, is just so amazing, Lord, when we, we understand how much God you've loved us. How much God you've loved us. We may never have a full, full, full understanding, Jesus Christ, of the incredible inheritance that we have. But we do know that we are co-heirs with Christ Jesus. We who are your children, we who have put our trust in you, we who have believed in you, we who have said we want to follow you, Jesus, we who you have identified as you, as yours, we who that, Lord, you have allowed the grace and the opportunity to know you. How vast, God, that real, those riches will be, we have no idea. But God, we have this guarantee and one guarantee as the Holy Spirit of God indwells in us. And every time he indwells in us, he's a reminder that that promise of inheriting your kingdom, of inheriting your kingdom, oh God, it shall come to pass. Lord, our minds sometimes just are blown up by the understanding of this Jesus Christ. But thank you for allowing us, God, my Father, to be partakers, that we Gentiles, we who are without you, God, my Father, you have allowed us to hear the truth and to be saved. And God, we do know that you save men. You save men from the filth of sin and from wrath. You save men from the coming wrath that you're bringing and the judgment that you're bringing to the wicked and the ungodly. And so, God, we thank you, God, for that. Thank you for saving us, Jesus. Thank you for the salvation that, Lord God, we have. And thank you because we are also looking forward to be to be saved, oh God. And so, glory and honor be to your holy name, Jesus. Holy Spirit of the Lord, thank you for indwelling in us. Thank you for glorifying the Father by indwelling in this earthen vessel. Thank you for glorifying the the Father by indwelling in this earthen vessel. And so glory and honor to the Father, glory and honor to the Son, and glory and honor to the Holy Spirit for allowing us the beauty and the enjoyment of knowing you, Jesus Christ, our Father. We thank you and we praise your holy name. As we go throughout the day, 
Lord, thank you because, God, my Father, the truth and the mystery of the scriptures, oh God, my Father, let it ring in our minds. And my Father, it rings in our minds, my Father. Let worship bubble up. Let the worship, oh God, my Father, well up our hearts because we do know that we are looking forward, my Father, Lord Jesus, to the inheritance of your kingdom, oh God. And may that looking forward, my Father, fill our hearts with hope, oh God, my Father. And that looking forward also, my Father, help us, my Father, to do our due diligence to serve you, Lord my Father, more diligently to the glory and to the honor of your holy name. Thank you for your blessings, my Father, upon our lives. Thank you for every spiritual blessings that you have given and blessed us with in Christ Jesus, O oh Lord. So we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. We pray and give and thanks. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you very much. Truly, truly is great and it's been great. Yes, yeah, we continue to look at uh, and to walk through the book of Ephesians as we continue to unravel the mysteries that are hidden in this wonderful book. God bless you. Have a great weekend ahead. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jai Hamoyo Angu Ni Yesu Tu